Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Swarup Ermalkar presenting OWASP IO, a learning tool for iOS app penetration testing and defense. Um, just let me make sure that I'm audible. Okay, a quick disclaimer. Uh, all the views are my own and not of my employer. So brief introduction of me. Uh, I work as senior security engineer at Philips and my work includes security assessment of IoT devices, healthcare products, web application, network and mobile applications. I am also OWASP I got project lead. You can find a code at GitHub. I'm also author of popular iOS security book that is learning iOS penetration testing published with packet publication. I'm also one of the top mobile security researchers worldwide working with a cobalt bug crowd uh, bug bounty platforms. So I have been uh, invited to speak at various security conferences, including AppSec USA, HitCon, uh, European Say, Ground Zero, GoCon, and many others. Uh, I have been acknowledged by Microsoft, Amazon, and many other companies for reporting security issues in their mobile applications. I hold various certifications as OSCP, OSWP, and others. So uh, I am author of this book, uh, Learning iOS Penetration Testing. And the good thing is we have we have the CTF at the end of this talk, and the Winner will get the free copy of this book. Yeah. So today's agenda is uh, we'll start from why you care about iOS security or mobile security, and then what is OWASP IGOT? IGOT for pen testers and developers. Uh, what is IGOT architecture and the CTF challenge? And at the end, we'll have the conclusion. So why to care about mobile security? so nowadays your smartphone is everything it has the financial application it has your uh, banking wallets it has your banking uh, uh, application e-wallets and which handles your financial information at the same time we have the healthcare app applications to book your doctor appointments or the apps which handles your uh, healthcare data and we also have the social networking apps like instagram facebook and others where we have the, our photos, personal messages. So nowadays your phone has everything. If you see a uh, recent cases, or if you see the consumer reports, nowadays most of the cases are robbery of smartphones. And if you see uh, the jailbreak history, uh, the, this is sources from the Wikipedia and the jailbreaks are available till iOS 10.2 and the uh, jailbreaks on the, for the latest iOS are in progress. So if someone has access to your phone, they can easily jailbreak your device and they can access to all the information of uh, your application. Apart from that, if you uh, look at why people really do jailbreak, you will find a, uh, the reason is funny. They do this to rename and reorganize applications, customize the look and feel of iOS, uh, make the most use of Siri, uh, tailor your data connection to your laptop and so on. But they don't understand at, at the moment you jailbreak your i device, the all the security measures provided by Apple are bypassed. So while developing a uh, while iOS develop main developers should consider that app is going to be accessed on rooted or uh, jailbroken devices. Okay, let's start about the uh, OWASP iGoat. So uh, OWASP iGoat is a learning tool or a platform for iOS developers and the mobile app pen testers. It was inspired by the Webcode project and it has a similar conceptual flow to it. Uh, the lessons are laid out in following steps like brief introduction to the problem, then verifying the problem by exploiting the vulnerability, the brief description of available remediation and the fix, fixing the problem by correcting and rebuilding the code. So it's free and open source project. You can find the code on GitHub slash OWASP slash IGOT. It has currently more than 25 vulnerabilities or challenges. It has a client server architecture. We have one local server and one server is on the cloud. We have the contributors from all over the world. 
So challenges, we have a, a wide range of challenges in the iBoat. We have the broken cryptography challenges. Uh, we have the key management problems where the keys are hard coded. We have the, we have the random key generations or key stored at the server side. Uh, again, the interesting challenge on the reverse engineering where you take the IPA file, you reverse engineer it using the class term or clutch, clutch, get access to the source code, find the sensitive information in that. Then the data protection at race, data protection in transit. Uh, then the runtime analysis, uh, injection flaws. Uh, again, in runtime analysis, we have the different challenges for uh, the uh, Sycrypt, uh, Snoopy, GDB, and uh, other uh, runtime hooking uh, debuggers. So I got approach is very straightforward. First, you will understand the concept. Then you will identify the vulnerability. Once you identify the vulnerability uh, or the vulnerable point, you will exploit that and will not end it here. You will learn how to defend, how to implement the protection against the vulnerability. So um, I got runs on different. The base thing about I got is it runs on simulator, but at the same time, it runs on or it supports all i devices, including your iPhone, iPad, and iPod. iPod. So if you have any of these devices, you are ready to run the iGoat. So iGoat is for both pen testers and developers. So if you see, uh, if you select any of the vulnerability from the iGoat, let's say a SQL injection, the first thing is the description of the vulnerability. Uh, you will have uh, all the details like what is this vulnerability and this references for that. Then the next is you will manually exploit that vulnerability. Or uh, and while exploiting that, if you get stuck somewhere or if you face any difficulties, we have hint section here where we have the hints from a basic to uh, like we have from level one to level five. At the end, we have solution here uh, where exactly you will learn how to defend and also how to solve the challenge. Now, okay, the so vulnerability, uh, so pain testers will report vulnerability to the developers. Now what developers will do? So they don't need to go over the internet to find a secure code snippet or going to different blogs and like that. So in the project itself, we have provided their secure code snippet, which is commented by default. Uh, the developers need to understand the code. Uh, they need to uncomment that and then they can rebuild the code and then they will they can fix this problem so i got architecture so if you take the uh, challenges we have the we have to run one server locally that is written in ruby and we have one server hosted on the cloud so uh, the, the approach for the i got is very straightforward the uh, Vulnerabilities are in very structured format. If you see that these are all in groups like crypto challenge, runtime analysis challenge, uh, social engineering, uh, or YAP storage. So if you are a newbie or if you are a, uh, not iOS developer, and if you still want to learn that, you can just start the Xcode project. You can pick up any of the vulnerability which you want to study and you can check the code, what is uh, written inside that particular challenge. So it's as easy as easy as it looks uh currently we have the tons of vulnerabilities for your uh, study uh you can have the reverse engineering data protection rest and all if you select any of the category we have the other subcategories as well so i can quickly show you so this is the i -goat. and if you so these are the reverse engineering authentication broken crypto social engineering runtime analysis uh, again, we have the subcategories in that if you open the data protection at rest, you have the again the several different vulnerabilities in this. So a quick demo, uh, we, we have one interesting, uh, interesting exercise, uh, SQL injection. Now, if you take a look at the code, you will find that the uh, there is no prepared statement and the input is directly passing to the database. So you can check out the query backend query as select title from article where title like at the rate and premium is equal to zero. So you can see that this is vulnerable to SQL injection. So now we can have a demo where we are actually exploiting this vulnerability. So 
this is on the iPhone screen. So once you start the exercise, you can start, let's say, a skull injection. And you can start. So this is basically a place to search for the articles. If, if you give the blank search, it will give the list of the articles. Or if you enter any strings like premium and all, it will give the blank. Now we have already checked out the backend code and we can just enter the SQL injection payload like we are breaking the query and making the condition true and you can access the premium articles. Yes, so you can also check out the code for this vulnerability. Okay, that's this is interesting and this is the CTF challenge which is specially designed for this event. And whoever uh, we have some exciting prizes for this CTF challenge. So what is this challenge? It's a basically crypto challenge. Uh, even if you are a web application, pen tester or any security guy you can just play this challenge. You don't need to have the uh, iOS development skills or the need to be iOS developer to play this CTF. So uh, interestingly, you can run on um, iOS simulator, you can download the code or you can run on the jailbroken devices like uh, iPhone, iPad or iPod. Uh, you can also run it on non jailbroken device. So you can play this CTF on non jailbroken device as well. You need uh, to have the CDI impactor for non jailbroken devices to install the application. And once you get the flag, you can email me the flag on the uh, this address that is forub.irmalkar at the rate ovas.org. So uh, to play this challenge, visit the page github.com slash oa slash igot. And you can download this project and there is an Xcode file which you can directly run on your MacBook. It will start the simulator and there you can play the challenge. Those who have the iDevices, including your iPhone, iPad or iPod, you can, we have provided the .ipa file. You can install this file on your device and then you can play the city up. Yeah. So once you start the uh, CTF, uh, once you start the application, uh, you need to go into the broken cryptography and then there is a crypto challenge screen. And once you click on start the challenge, you will see that there is an iPhone purchase option. So there's a uh, buy option. So by default, the, the price of the phone is $1,000. And the, cha the challenge is you need to purchase this phone for $0. So I will also quickly navigate to this app. So once you start the application on your simulator on your iPhone or any uh, i device, you need to go into this broken cryptography. Then you need to go into the crypto challenge and then you have to click on the start. So if you select this buy, it will say that fail you didn't purchase the iPhone for dollar uh, zero. And you need to purchase this for uh, let's say free. If, if you find, uh, if you want to have some hints, you can check out this section. And uh, if you have any queries, you can tweet me at uh, Swarup SY or OWAS I got channel. And what winner will get, okay, uh, you will get the cool Buckcrow t-shirt and also a copy of my book that is learning iOS presentation testing, which will help you to learn end to end iOS app pen testing. Uh, I would recommend or uh, invite you to contribute for iGoat project. We are working hard to make this project at the next level. Uh, what you can do is you can add the new exercises or you can suggest us the attacks. If you are working on some cool project or bug bounty programs where you find a cool issue uh, or interesting issue, you can let us know which will develop uh, into the iGoat. Uh, you can raise, you can just test and raise any issues on the GitHub. You can write the blogs and article about the iGoat. Uh, these are the references. I would like to thank the contributor from all over the world who are continuously supporting this project and helping us to the uh, taking it to the next level. Yeah, I guess that's all for my talk. Uh, let me see if we have any questions. I guess we have the time. Uh, for Android platform, uh, 
yeah there are different applications like a dam vulnerable android application which you can try for the android platform yeah is macbook pro a must uh, you can have any macbook it's nothing to have it pro you can have just macbook with xcode installed on that and then you can run the uh, i got okay uh do we have any more questions uh windows uh, i'm not aware of that so you can just download the uh, simulator that xcode from the app store provided on the macbook and then you can uh, xcode comes with ios simulator so you can directly run on that and then you can start the application um, yeah, okay any commercial mobile tool for signing scanning apps uh, i guess this is not relevant okay do we have any more questions Okay, I guess uh, that's all for this video. And if you've had any questions, uh, 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 Xcode is not, a, yeah. So Xcode is available only for MacBook users. Um, uh, it's not available for Windows, that's right. And for Windows, you can have any iDevice, including your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, which, which could be jailbroken or non-jailbroken to try out this CTF. And uh, yeah, so. If you have any queries, you can just tweet me and uh, also don't forget to send me the flag. We have the exciting uh, goodies for you. So that's all. Thank you.